let's begin with practice set 7.2 the first sum the information about numbers of workers and number of days to complete a work is given in the following table complete the table now this table is given to you and they are saying that you have to complete the table now first you have to identify whether it's an example of inverse or it's an example of direct which which one it is like you know once you once you understand that then you can solve it then it will become easier so now look here number of workers now if the number of workers are 30 and they are taking 6 days okay so when you uh, employ 20 workers but obviously the number here is going to increase because here there were many workers that's why it took 6 days so now you reduce the number of workers the the days will increase okay so now what is happening over here from 30 it is uh, going to 20 it's becoming less but down it is increasing when this increases this decreases and this decreases this increases it's an example of inverse variation when both go hand in hand that is me that means increase over here increase over here so it is direct variation decrease over here decrease over here direct variation but increase over here decrease over here or decrease over here increase over here it's vice versa so it's an example of inverse variation now here this is an example of inverse variation in inverse variation what happens is the products are constant the ratio is not constant here the product is constant now let's take an example of a year we need right so say 20 and 9 9 and here we don't have anything so upon 12 okay if we take this as an example first we'll solve this this is number of workers and days fine only look at this part i've taken this down so now let the unknown number be x okay let's take x over here now when i say x so uh, when i say inverse variation it is an example of inverse variation fine if a what is constant product product means this multiply by this in direct what was happening this upon this is equal to this upon this but now it won't happen like that it will be 20 multiply by 9 is equal to x multiply by 12 because the products are constant not the ratio so 20 multiplied by 9 is equal to x multiplied by 12 okay so 20 into 9 upon 12 is equal to x because we leave x alone and we take 12 down so 2 6 za 2 10 za 3 3 za 3 sorry 3 2 za 3 3 za 2 1 za 2 5 za so 5 into 3 x is equal to 5 into 3 is equal to 50. So here the answer is going to be 50. So the value of x is 15. Now, done. Now let's take the other one, this one. So let the unknown number be y. Now let's take y, okay? So 15 and 12, 10 and y, fine? This we are taking. Number of laborers and days, okay? We, I'm just taking that small thing down so that you understand. So now what happens? It's an example of inverse variation. So products are constant. So 12 and 15 into 12 is equal to 10 into why why products are constant same way so we have 15 into 12 upon 10 is equal to y why 2 5 za 2 6 za 5 1 za 5 3 za so 3 into 6 y is equal to 3 into 6 is equal to 18 that means here the answer is 18. Now we will take this and this. So 18 up, sorry, 10 upon 18 and dash upon 36. So it's this way number of laborers and days, fine. Right? So this is not given to us. So let the unknown number be. Now we will take z, okay. 
so 10 upon uh, your year it is z so 10 into 18 is equal to z into 36 fine 10 into 18 is equal to 10 into 18 is 10 into 36 because the products are constant so 10 into 18 upon this 36 comes down is equal to z now 6 6 is 36, 6 3 is 18, 3 1 is 3, 3 2 is 6, 2 1 is 2, 2 5 is. So z is equal to 5 into 1 is equal to 5. That means the answer the 5. So we will write 5 over here. Okay, that's it. Now we will go to the next sum. Number 2. Find the constant of variation and write the equation of variation. Now the first one is p is inversely proportional to 1 upon q. If p is 15 and q is 4, you have to find the constant of variation and equation of variation. Now let's solve. p is inversely proportional to 1 upon q. Therefore, p is equal to k upon q. Okay? So because k is, k is constant over here. Okay? So now p into q is equal to k. So p into q is equal to k. We can also write pq is equal to k. This is equation of variation. Okay. This, this is k constant and here this when you substitute it like you take k, k here and you multiply this, this becomes equation of variation. Now p is 15, q is 4. You have to multiply insert p and the value of p and q and find k that becomes constant of variation. So p is 15, q is 4 is equal to k. How much is 15 into 4? 15 fours are 60. So 60 is equal to k. So the value of k that is constant of variation is constant of variation. K is 60. Equation of variation PQ is equal to K, right? This PQ is equal. So instead of K, put 60. So PQ is equal to 60. This is your equation of variation. That's it. Now we will do sum number 2. Sum number 2 says Z is inversely proportional to. 1 upon w when z is equal to 2.5 then w is equal to 24 okay z is 2.5 w is 24 you have to find out k so z is equal to k upon w so k is constant ZW is equal to K, that is your equation of variation. Okay, write these two steps. After that, for constant, what I have to do? I have to multiply Z and W. Z is how much? 2.5 into 24 is equal to K. Now, let's multiply 24 into 2.5. 5 fours are 20. 5 twos are 10 and 2 12, 4 twos are 8, 2 twos are 4, 0, 6 after one number. So answer is 60. Therefore, 60 is equal to k. That means constant of variation k is equal to 60. What is the equation of variation? This one z into w is equal to k. So, z equation of variation is z into w is equal to 60. Instead of k, put 60. Now, let's do the next sum. Sum number 3. S is inversely proportional to 1 upon t square. If S is equal to 4 t is equal to 5. Okay. Now let's solve. So s is equal to k upon t square. 
k is constant and s into t square is equal to k equation of variation. You know both these steps. We have done it for the previous two sums also. Now what is the s? s is 4 into t square means 5 square is equal to k. 4 into t square is 25. 5 square is 25 is equal to k. Therefore, 100 is equal to k. Therefore, value of constant. Constant k is equal to 100. Equation of variation. Is equal to this right s into t square is equal to 100 you put this this way equation of variation is s into t square is equal to 100 now sum number 4 x is inversely proportional to 1 upon root y if x is equal to 15 y is equal to 9 okay so x is equal to k upon root y your k is constant okay x into root y is equal to k that's a equation of variation and you leave k alone and you take this together so now x is how much 15 into root y means 9 is equal to k so 15 into root 9 is 3 is equal to k 15 3 is a 45. 45 is equal to k. Therefore, constant k is how much? 45. Right? Equation is, I'll write it here. Equation of variation. Equation of variation is x into root y is equal to 45. Instead of k, I'll put 45. That's it. We've solved all four sums.